Hello everyone, in a few minutes you're going to understand the two system modules that we have in Node.js. The default and the first one is called CommonJS and the second one is ES module or ECMAScript module. If it's the first time you're visiting our channel, our mission is to simplify the backend world for you. What's the plan for our video today? We are going to start with a little background, we are going to talk about the two main differences between the system modules and we are going to, uh, to present problems that you may encounter when you are dealing with uh, different types of system modules. But before we dive in into the material, we need to understand why it is so important for us to understand the system modules in Node.js. The first reason I call it don't be caught with your pants down. Currently, you can use both CommonJS and ES modules in, uh, in your project and it's okay and it works fine. But in the near future, a year from now, two years from now, Node.js will, will, uh, will stop their support for uh, CommonJS and you will need to change your code to the new system module that is ES module. The second reason is that you need to become a better developer. Great developers are always looking for new, uh, new technologies and always want to, to understand the larger picture. Let's start with the background. In Node.js, every file is a module. What do I mean by that? I mean that if you uh, ever created a file and uh, you wrote a function and or declared uh, a variable, and you want to use it on other file, you, need, you must to use uh, the export syntax. The second point is Node.js uses CommonJS by default. If you are not changing the, the, the package uh, file, you are using CommonJS. Uh, ES module started to be stable from Node version 13.2. And this is the most interesting point, I, I think. Uh, frameworks like React and Vue are using ES module by default. What, uh, what, uh, what does it mean? It means that uh, front-end developers that using these frameworks uh, doesn't care about their syntax. The reason for that is that these frameworks are using something called Babel. Uh, Babel is uh, something that runs under the hood and it is a JavaScript compiler that converts the ES module into CommonJS. So it doesn't uh, matter what, they, what they're writing, it will convert it uh, when they comply, when, when, they're, when they are going to, compi to, to compile their uh, files. Two main differences. The first one is about the words require and import. We'll talk about the syntax and the functionality. And later we'll discuss the configuration, how to change your project to use ES module. Let's talk about the syntax. On the left you can see CommonJS syntax. With CommonJS we are using the word require. You can require packages like, like FS you can see here. And you can require external uh, files like uh, you see here on the bottom. The same you can do with the word import with ES module you can import uh, packages and files. Let's talk about the functionality. But, but uh, first of all, we need to, to distinguish between loading time and running time. Loading time is the time it takes to your service from the moment you run the command to start it until it's working and listening to a port. Running time means that your service is already loaded and uh, it's uh, listening to a port and now it receives requests, HTTP requests and it executes on demand. If your function is loaded on loading time, we call, we call it static function. If your function is running on running time, we run it dynamic, so it's called dynamic function. With CommonJS, you can use only the dynamic option. Like you can see here, require will be loaded dynamically. With ES module, you have the two options. You can use ES, ES module both dynamically with the word await import, 
and you can use it the, uh, statically with the word import. If you are going to use the word import, no matter where it will appear on the file, it will, it will be uh, jumped to the head of the file and be executed before. Configuration. As we, as we said before, if you don't do any changes, uh, your, uh, your project will be executed as CommonJS by default. If you want to change one file uh, to ES module, you need to change the, its extension to MJS, like you can see here. If you want to change your whole project, you need to go to your package JSON and, and add the type module, like you can see here. When you add this line, all the JavaScript and MJS uh, files will be treated as ES modules, no matter the extension. Problems you may encounter when you are dealing with two different types of system modules. The first problem is ES module can import common JS, but not vice versa. This means that if you are starting to write a new package with ES module syntax, you need to keep in your mind that you won't be able to use it on your CommonJS packages. This, uh, this problem can be a, a huge headache if you have many packages that you need to maintain. The second problem is that some packages work only with CommonJS. A good example for that will be Jest, a common package for unit testing that does not fully support ES module. It supports only half of the, of the functions. And it can be a problem if you are using this package. So what do we recommend? We recommend that before you start to rewrite your whole project into ES module, you check that the packages that you commonly use are already supporting ES module. That's it, my friends. Thank you for watching. Uh, keep uh, keep uh, tracking our channel, and we'll be glad to answer your questions. Thank you.